get a felt there. Fulav, my finder of facts, my fielder of questions. How can I be of help, Basim? Tell me about Arib. Her words were as scripture to members of the Order. A gifted artist and poetess, Arib won her freedom through her skill. Tabit tells me she keeps a luxurious home in the Round City. Anything else? What do you know of Kabiha? She had ties to the treasurer. Born to slavery, Qabiha rose to become Al-Mutawakkil's favorite concubine in the harem. Yet her son was not made Khalifa, leaving her future uncertain. Anything else? Tell me about the governor. I saw him give orders to Wasif at Turkey. Muhammad is one of the Tahirids, powerful viceroys of the Khalifas in Persia. He governs all Baghdad from his seat at the courts. Anything else? Where can I find our suspects? All three live within the glorious round city, the power center of the Abbasid Khilafah. Anything else? Shukran, Fulad. The harem is home to hundreds, secluded and kept from sight of men. This place may be more secret than Alamut. They say no man may enter the harem unless he is a eunuch or the Khalifa himself. I am neither, so this could be interesting. What beautiful homes, far different from the slums of Anbar. Be my eyes, Enkidu. from my guest. This is my house. Bought with my generosity. Bought by my genius.
For tokens, favors, and personal dedications, you may find Sayyida Arib in the garden after her recital. Good day. You must be her patron. It is an honor, Sayyidi. If I may, I seek a private audience with the poetess. Do you? I have been moved beyond words by her... words. Symmetry of sky and sea. I only wish to express my sincere admiration. Pretty words. Nearly as pretty as hers, and just as false. We both know what mask she wears, don't we? Mask, Sayyidi. Enough, Sayyidi. I know what you are, and I know why you've come. You think I haven't seen you skulking in the shadows. She's no longer party to your plots, your secret meetings, your foolish nicknames. I have scrubbed her clean of them. For I have set a watch on her door. My men dog her recitals. Every letter she's had of you I have shredded or sent back. Sent back? You will find them piled at the postal bureau. Burn them. Bury them. Do what you will. You can choke on them for all I care. Foolish nicknames, secret meetings. The patron may have thought me a member of the Order of the Ancients. The piles of letters at the Postal Bureau may reveal more. Let us see what mask you wear, poetess. Stranger's mail and sniff out conspiracies. Wait, what? Down with you! I'm not sure. 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 I'
حول The Greek dogs are cunning. Those fire poles are all There must be mail here from every corner of the Khilafa. Now to find Aribs. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's that? <laughs> How the mighty have fallen. Hey! Oh, this armor stinks. Hey, what was that? Wait, just a <laughs> Silence your song of sin, or I will do it for you. How kind. Moving on. Abu Abdullah is the true Khalifa and will soon reclaim his stolen throne. I will leave this one for the Uyun. Dearest Arib, your poetry has touched me deeply. You are my oasis, lush and yearl of After the honey drips from her lips, a Thaleb leaves the garden and follows the mouse. Secret order correspondence? Bad poetry? A bit of both? Harib could be a Thaleb. The patron spoke of a recital in the gardens. I could give this letter to Harib and see where the vixen leads me. I will go to the garden, give Athala her letter, and follow where she goes. Rage as the ocean, I will sweeten your story. Scorch as the desert, I will bathe in your feet. Strike as the cobra, but be you ocean, desert. Cobra, dove, all shapes and humors will I embrace. Hello there. Have we met? Come, don't be shy. I rarely bite and I never leave a mark. It seems there's no privacy in the public eye. 
How came you by that letter? Who put you up to this? I work in the dark to serve the light. <laughs> I've met the men who serve the light. It seems its glare oft leaves them blind. Are your masters so blinkered and bumbling? You were warned, you son of a dog. Come, Arib. We will set no tongues to wagging here. Yours is the tongue that will not still itself, even when I beg for silence. You spurned the counsel of he who raised you, and without whom you would still be nothing? I raised myself. I authored myself. I have written myself into history. You are banished from my pages. Now be gone! How can I leave you to walls such as these? You're a woman alone, unarmed. Words are weapons enough for me. Then let us see what defense they offer. Take her. There is somewhere the Sayida needs to be, and you are delaying her. It seems that words can summon shields. We will need to make this quick. Arib has left for her secret meeting. I must hurry. The letter commanded Athalan to leave the garden and follow the mouse. Perhaps Arib is not lost to me yet. How far will the fox flee? Yet another painted mouse. Another crumb to follow. I am growing tired of this chase. You should bring him before the Madalin court. But he thinks only of my reputation, Sarah. To safeguard success, I must be palatable, discreet. He fears I am too proud. <laughs> you? Never. I write that love is feral and free, unbound by stricter or statute. Should I not practice what I publish? Practice makes perfect. It also makes enemies. So be it. But let me choose them. Courtiers, caliphs, patrons, partners. So many men have tried to decide my enemies. <laughs> and friends. Though Allah knows I once chose poorly, he hid himself well. And the poet needs patrons. Even one so great as Al-Talab. Well, I have my pick. Good. There's trouble times ahead. I will be fine. I have survived six caliphs, 
I will survive. Six more. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll kiss the rings I need to kiss, but I will not be bound again. Not by anyone. Secret meetings. Coded names. There is no trace of the Order here. Still, she has her pick of patrons. Maybe the head of the Order is not Harib herself, but an admirer. What do you see? Do not even think about it. Keep walking. That was friendly. I will have to find another way in. Her influence wanes. Her followers dwindle by the day. Kabiha is a great woman, Farah. <laughs> she was. While Al Mutawake lived, but her son did not succeed him, and her time has come and gone. When the tide ebbs, will you be swept with it to the sea? I do not like to get involved in politics, Nasreen. Please. We know what you are. Enough! The new eunuchs will be arriving any minute. Meet them at the gate, Makira, and try not to make a mess of it. Come, Nasreen. New servants mean new faces in the harem. If I had a eunuch's uniform, I could slip in among them. Show me everything. It was me. He was 
Uniform freshly tailored. Perfect. How long is this going to take? I'm running late. I promised longer, Saidi. Looks ready to me. No, you don't. Damn, God, person, help! Call the watch! A bit tight across the chest and gut. Hopefully this will work. Tamahel, do I know you? I doubt you would. This is my first day. I would hate to be late. Makira, assalamu alaikum. You know him, Makira? Um, uh, I... What? You have forgotten me already. No, no, I... I'm sorry, it has been a long... That is all right, fair one. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Farah is expecting me. Between us, she terrifies me. Please do not make me late for her. Let him in, Abbas. Barakallahu fiki, Sayyidati. What are you doing? Makira, I was just... Breaking into Kabiha's office? You are no eunuch. Leave now, or I'll tell Nasreen. I'll tell Farah. Tell them what? That you let me in here? I cannot imagine they will be pleased about that. You are a kahramana, no? You serve the concubines every need. When is the last time someone asked what you needed? Someone who would not judge. Someone you could forget was ever here. There must be something you need, Makira. Or want. There is something. Abbas at the gate. He... He has eyes for Farah. The Umm Walad. He doesn't look at me. But Farah uses a paint to make her eyes bigger. And if I could have some... I think he might... Say no more. I am at your service. Where can I find this paint? The storage room, but no one is allowed in. Apart from Nasreen. Farah trusts her with everything, even her magic potion. Farah has a magic potion? She has Nasreen carry it. Tells her when she wants a sip. It makes her breath foul. Still, I'd give anything to try it myself. And so you shall. And in exchange, Makira, what will you give me? The key to that office. I paint and magic potion. Your wish is my command. I paint and magic potion.